I don't know how y'all doing right now. So you heard about Anita Baker kicking Babyface off her tour. I got to ask where I stand. I'm team Babyface. Well, yeah, because she's wrong for that. Now, his fans got every right to gripe at her because she asked him to be part of her tour. She obviously needed someone who was a peer, someone she has worked with. And, you know, ironically, she turned down the songs which became Tony Braxton's songs, Tony Braxton's first album, which was given to Anita. So imagine that. Some people don't like to hear the truth. Anita always been, you know, talented. I like her a lot. One of my favorite female artists ever. But been a little baddie, a little cray-cray, ever since that whole fiasco of her and Luther Vandross. So some people out here in these streets, I saw Tink is supporting Babyface. I said a brother needs some, so needs some support. He do. Because she asked him to be part of the tour. Now, even though it was her tour, she still wanted him for support. You know? And to do this, you know, and let people get all in, get all in their feelings and say all kinds of stuff is not a good look on her part. You know, she just has the fans to chill. But see, she brought this energy. She brought this heat. So it has created some tension, you know? You know, and it's unnecessary because at this age and stage, you wouldn't think. But you know what? Ego takes over everything. But I got to give it to Bayface on this one here. That's not his fault. Anita Baker was in the wrong for this. You know, because you ask a support and act. Don't get mad and act funny time. And then you want to turn around and kick him off your tour. That's not professional. That's not a good look. I'm glad Anita Baker got her master's. She said a chance to rap her helped out. I'm glad she got in her bag. She went through a lot of stuff with Electra Records. I understand all that. But to take stuff out to, to be some professional, when you're touring and you're taking money out of somebody's mouth or, you know, taking bread out of their pocket to be touring, that's just cold and tacky. And she's not above that. And some people don't want to hear the truth about it. She's not above that, you know. Um, so I'm team babyface on this one, you know. I mean, I like her a lot. I like his work a lot. You know, uh, and, you know, but the bottom line is you can't be a tacky turkey. And I think Anita Baker's being a tacky turkey when it comes to babyface. That's how I feel about it. And I'm going to stand by what I say. Please hit like, subscribe, work with those comments. And I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another. Share it if you want to. And I'm out.